fight's as good as death. If that huge snake bites you, it'll suck you dry. Suck? Wait, what? I'm gonna fight it! Sweet dreams! 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 Sweet dreams!
Hellion again? Its physical attacks are weak. Let's finish them off. What was that? It looked like a monster. It's the Earth in Historia. It records events from the past. Is this a record of wars throughout the world? So that guy, Heldolf, he's using those wars as crucibles to breed more malevolence. He pits Hellions against each other in order to increase their strength and ferocity. Disgusting. His heart is surely sunk in the depths of darkness. That's the truth of the Lord of Calamity. Oh, no. 
are strange, Sarai. Really? You awake, that night? I command me!
end? I think so. I wonder if she'll ever really get used to this. This mural seems to depict the trial that the one who is to be the shepherd must undertake. I did not expect to find such a thing here. Whoa, the shepherd's trial, huh? Is this blotch here supposed to represent the continent of Glenwood? Then this insignia thingy marks where the shepherd is supposed to go. Is that right? Lila, is that the case? Tonight's dinner, Mabo Curry! Don't mind her. She gets a little random sometimes when things come up that she can't talk about because of her oath. Oath? Like a diet? <laughs> so there are four places with that mark. One in the north part of Lake Haven Heights. Two in the southern end of the middle of the continent. And the last one is in the direction of Western Bolt Gorge. Well, if they call it a trial, that means something good happens if you finish it, right? Like maybe you get some awesome equipment or sweet power-ups! Yeah. Hey, maybe I'll get the strength to overcome any kind of domain. We just might have hope against Heldolf, after all. Uh, guys? English, please? What's a domain? What's a Held Elf? Well, it's, uh... Know what? Forget it. We'll talk about it over a meal. We got what we came for, right? Yeah. Looks like our expedition has come to an end. Cool. Let's go. I just got bored all the way back into my gourd. Didn't know you could do that. For real? Looks like it. No comment. <laughs> you probably wouldn't have been so scared of Seraphim or Hellions if you could see them from the beginning. That's probably true. If you can see them in the first place, at least you know they're there with you. If you can't see people, and then suddenly you can, it means that there were people there the whole time when you thought there wasn't anyone at all. Doesn't that give you the creeps? I sort of get it, but not really. I think Miklio and the others have their work cut out for them. Doesn't the pattern on this mural look familiar? It's like the one that's supposed to be in the Pendrago Shrine. It certainly resembles the drawing in the Celestial Record. You don't suppose one could be a copy of the other? Hmm. Either way, it suggests that this ruin might date from the height of the era of Asgard since that's when the Pendrago Shrine was built. Yeah, I'd love to see the Pendrago Shrine too someday. Ha! Huh, good luck with that one, Your Holiness. Huh? What do you mean? Pendrago is the capital of the Roland's Empire, and the Shrine is the headquarters of their church. These days, only church personnel are allowed inside, and then only the highest of the high. Interesting. Looks like someone isn't deterred. Shepherd trial that. It's turning into one big mess. Hmm. I'm not sure where to start. Well, think about it. The locations are all over the world. Plan it so we don't waste travel time. All right. Then how's Pendrago sound? I'm sure you've grabbed the attention of the bigwigs in the Roland's Empire by now. You might want to go explain that Highland only got you to fight for them by force. Oh, good idea. That would likely make our operations inside the Roland's Empire much easier. An approach only the humans could take. <laughs> Looks like you're all on the same page. That's right. Are you going to stay back here, Oish? I'd sure like to. I'm still kind of attached to the place, but I probably don't dare stay here by myself. Is something wrong? There needs to be someone to worship the Seraph. Like at a shrine or a church. Or else he could be tainted by malevolence and become a Hellion again. 
Then we'll find someone and bring them here to cover it. Sound good? You sure? I thought this was your hideout. Huh, <laughs> whatever. Just leave it to me, okay? You're the best. I should be sitting pretty for the time being, thanks to all you folks. Just bring someone here whenever you can. I'll give you blessings out the wazoo. <laughs> well, I'll see you around, Oish. <laughs> Come back soon. Tomorrow. What? I was thinking of heading out now. With just the clothes on my back? Oh, please. I am a girl, you know. Oh. And? Huh? You have been battling those hellions, is that right? Those monsters most people can't see. Yeah. All the time? Yeah. That man we were talking about, Heldolf, he's the Lord of Calamity, so... Oh, hold your horses. Save the long stories for mealtime, okay? Let's go!
Hey Rose. Huh? What is it? You're sounding all serious on me. It's about my duty as a shepherd. You're supposed to defeat the Lord of Calamity written about in the Earth and Historia, right? What about it? I met the Lord of Calamity on the battlefield. You did, huh? But I was no match for him. Even your resonance was cut off. Oh, so that's when I came to the rescue. And? What do you mean, and? This journey is going to be dangerous. Honestly, I don't even know if we have a chance to win. I'll help you find a way to win. And if we can't, we can always run away. We'll be all right. You know the reality of the situation and what your capabilities are, and that's fine by me. Thanks. For what? For everything. Not sure I get what you mean, but you're welcome. There isn't a problem. If there is, we'll just run away. I can't believe I'm on a journey with real-life Seraphim. We're gonna be counting on you. Gah! Pleasantries are fine and all, but disembodied voices give me the total willies! I can't believe I'm on a journey with a real-life scaredy cat. Pleasure to work with you too, Dezel. <sighs> Man, I sure am feeling the tension. Just like a real adventure. Adventures in social psychology, maybe. Miglia, look! A giant tree stump! Hmm. Judging from the growth rings, it looks like this one's at least a thousand years old. You counted them? What, are we boring you? You can eyeball this kind of thing, you know. Look, see? This width accounts for about 20 years. If the trunk is at least 50 of these wide, that's a thousand years right there. Hey, look! There's a part where the growth rings are super concentrated. You're right. I wonder why. There was probably an era with a chilly enough climate that the sun barely ever broke through the clouds. Oh, I see. So that's why these growth rings are so close together. And that's approximately a thousand years ago. Amazing. Trees are history books, growing right in front of us. Impressive that you even noticed that, though. You just need to think more, is all. Haven't tried it myself, but I'm sure it's tasty. You awake yet not see you next month, loser. Saray, is your sword style self-taught? Yep. Your grip, swing, and focus need work. But otherwise, it's okay. Is that a compliment? Of course not. No, it is. Huh? Don't get careless! See you next month, loser. Yeah. 
this fighting sure makes me hungry. already? Yep, this is Lastenbell. It's renowned the world over as a city where artisans and traders congregate. That's the one! You know more about the world than I thought- Hey, what did I say about no voices in my head? Uh, apologies. Whoa, it's freaking huge! Aha, uh -huh. a Roland's Atlas Beetle. Oh yeah? I never saw one at Alicia. That's the coolest thing ever! And it's thanks to folks like you that you can unload these for a hefty sum. Nope. Wrong. Huh? This is a Volgrand stag beetle. Oh, a stag beetle. Oh, well, they're pretty much the same thing, right? They both have horns. Completely different. Atlas beetles have horns, but stag beetles have prominent mandibles instead. Duh! Wow, Dezel. You know so much. <laughs> Just common sense. So they're different body parts, but are they used the same? They're both used for wrestling, but the stag beetle also uses its mandibles to hide under dead logs and in muck. Got it. Related but separate tools. Uh, right, right. Like a butter knife and a shiv, they look similar, but only one will go clean through the ribs. Oh, uh, I don't... Not my area of expertise. Ugh, you two. Why do I even bother? I make the oath, will I get power like Lila's? Don't even think about it. That oath is way more trouble than it's worth. Work on honing the strength you already have instead of relying on that mumbo jumbo, and you'll develop special skills all your own. You mean you've got your own skills? You bet I do. Yeah? Like what? Show me. <laughs> you sure you're ready? I'm impressed. Didn't think you had it in you to act like a grown-up for once. Uh, you're getting weird. You sure you want to see it? I don't normally show it to just anyone, but for you, I just might make an exception. Never mind. Forget I asked. Heh. <laughs> it must get lonely, being Mikleo. Mikli only. Honing the strength I already have. You awake at night? Weak. Sure are a lot of plant aliens around here. I don't want to go around them, so you go first. You're not done. Endurance is by far my 13th least favorite word. Careless! Command! Where'd you go, Major? 
by far my 13th least favorite word. I'll fuse them if you want, I guess. Definitely weird. You're also really not weird. Something that's lived for a long time. Everyone okay? Begin the pyramid of 
not often you see a Seraph using a staff like a club. I mastered it while practicing with Saray. It's got the reach you'd need to win, since he's tall. That's not the reason why. But the height. That's not it. But he's got potential. You're quite critical of him. He just doesn't respond to my jokes like you do. Didn't you mean his shepherd aptitude? should work. Today's trivia. When you have a physical ailment, you can't recover your HP. Indeed. That's the end of it. Yeah, I'm the only one 
Everyone okay? We mustn't hold back! Command me! We think it's not Slice the way! Sword style? Pretty cool. Well, I had a lot of practice with Miklia. You're pretty mature, Rose. Coming from you, I'm not sure how to take that. What now, Edna? And, and you're, you're such, such a, a kid. kid. rock, I gotta say. Orpiment. Often found at the bottom of volcanic fumaroles. Well, it sure is a brilliant yellow. Once it was used as a colorant, but that is all behind us now. You know all about this. Of course. I'm an Earth Seraph. I don't bum around. Edna? Uh, you okay? Orpiment is also known as Arsenius Sulfide. You would know that if you'd been reared properly. Oh yeah, that stuff. It's used to make poison, right? P poison Chill out, we don't use it. But it's supposed to be a type of arsenic. That's incredibly lethal. You should have told us in the first place. I've been telling you this entire time, you butt. Oh, arsenic? Really? <laughs> <laughs> nice! Really? Really? Good to go, Rose. Well, that's a wrap!
You sure are strange, Saray. Really? Sure makes me hungry. Don't even try it. You'll just injure yourself. with Miklia.
Don't even try it. You'll just injure yourself. Makes me hungry. Line up and wait. Those who don't comply shall be punished. You gotta be kidding. I don't have time for this. An inspection? It's the army. What do you think? There's gonna be a real war going on real soon. Hmm. <laughs> Odds are they'll be detaining you, I bet. Huh? Why me? You back there. Pipe down. You've heard the rumors about the Shepherd, right? Yeah, in Highland, I think. Right, but the latest word is he's made his way to Roland's. Huh, no kidding. Crazy. Does the Roland's Empire think unfavorably of the Shepherd? You bet they do. The Knights have seen what he can do in battle and are all up in arms, and the Church has branded him a heretic. As if that wasn't enough, there's talk of mysterious happenings going on in town. Next! Oh, looks like I'm up. On that note, watch your back out there. I thought we'd be fine, but now I'm not so sure. I think it's best that you hide who you are, but the idea of making someone like you tell a lie is like... It's like trying to convince your best hen to lay hard-boiled eggs. Yeah. Guess we better get ready to make a run for it. We have a pass and everything, just chill. I got this. Just... No creepy head voices for the time being. Got it? So long as you don't cause any trouble. Okay. Just keep your mouth shut. Next! I am Sergei Strelka, Captain of the Platinum Knights, Defenders of the Glory of the Roland's Empire. In cooperating to ensure the Empire's peace, you prove your gratitude as much as your loyalty. Is he always like this, or are his boxers just chafing him? Here you go, our Merchant Guild Pass. We've come to Lastendale on business, specifically the collection of a bill. The Sparrow Feathers are you? Quite impressive. We've got a strict deadline, no time to waste. The place of business is the liquor establishment on the main road. Ah, yes, Boris's Canteen. That place certainly gets an awful lot of business. And we deeply appreciate being a part of it. Is there anything else? No. My gratitude for cooperating with our inspection. Thanks for all your hard work. Next, you there. Quite some garb you're wearing. Are you this young woman's guard? Oh, uh, a girl doesn't dare travel alone. Then why does he carry an ornamental sword? He knew that Saray's sword was ornamental? He's seeing right through us. He's less of an idiot than he looks. Wait, there are people watching. <sighs> well, you know, we have our reasons. I'm asking your guard here. Crap. Repeat after me. Please forgive my unquestionably suspicious appearance. The truth is, I am the son of a provincial lord. Lord! Hmm? Rose. That's right! My husband here is nobility. What? You're married? Never had I lifted anything heavier than a fork in my life. Yet by chance did I fall in love with a traveling merchant. In the throes of passion, I threw my money and land away to be with her, just over a year ago. 
You... you did? Even my wife didn't know the full truth. The cruelties of the outside world taught me how feeble I truly am. But even so, I knew a husband has a duty to protect his wife. So I wear an ornamental sword at my side as a hollow pretense of strength. Laugh at the weak will of a sad, broken man. Ah! Sorry. You're doing your best. It's cool. Oh, my dearest, your sweet words are sucker to my tired limbs. Sow the seeds of love and they will bloom no matter how arid the terrain. Live and be strong. Next! I don't know how that worked, but I think we made it. Thanks, guys. More like we just lucked into the perfect audience. A win's a win. Turns out it's handy to have an invisible woman on your side, isn't it? I suppose. I'm sorry I told you to be quiet. So it's all right if we communicate directly inside your... No. It's creepy and obscene. Obscene? I'm not obscene. Come on. Let it go, Lila. All right, then. I assume that we're on our way to Pendrago now? Well, uh... But, Miklio, this town looks all kinds of exciting. Well, it does, so... We really ought to poke around at least a little. Did I nail it? Guilty as charged. Sounds fun. I'm game. Bunch of children. That's why we get along so well. And someday we all will. You mean Seraphim and humans? <laughs> Wilkis Wilk. Hey, Saray. What does my true name mean? Oh, it means Rose is Rose. Rose is Rose? Isn't that kind of lazy? Is it? I mean, I made it on a whim, but I thought it seemed fitting. It was an urgent situation, after all. Hmm. But Princess Alicia used to be a squire, right? What was her true name? Melphis Amekia. It means Alicia the Smiling. Oh, I see. So it's not lazy. You're just being biased. Huh? How? My smile is pretty gorgeous, too, you know. Quit it, Rose. You're scaring me. Rose, that's just how Saray is. Yeah, I know. Maybe his name should mean Saray is Saray.
Is there any sort of rhyme or reason to what happens when you fuse equipment? Great question, Rose. You're right. There's nothing random in the fusion of equipment. Can you just tell it to me short and simple before I fall asleep? Sure. First, the rules for fusing two different equipment skills only apply to those located in the same slot. So it actually does matter which slot each skill is positioned at. Yes. What skill is placed in which slot is a very important factor in equipment fusion. So it's important to... Well, it's... Huh? Are you asleep? Dezel, do you know a lot about ruins? I do have some knowledge about them since I've been around. But I've never been interested enough to explore. It's really fun to imagine what these artifacts have been through over the years. Ponder over our new discoveries, close in on the truth, or expand on what we already know. I do have the ability to sense certain smells left behind in the Earth, to detect humans and certain objects left behind since ages past. Whoa, you can sense through smells? Is that something even someone like me could learn? You can learn through experience to a degree, but you need talent if you want to truly master it. I'll try my hardest. Let me know if I overlook anything important. Yeah. As long as I don't get into the way of your precious hobby. I never thought I'd see so many Hellions. Kinda makes me feel guilty for not being able to see them before. You should. Ignorance is a crime, you know. So, don't you think the quality of equipment is crucial in surviving tough battles? They also say that true masters don't choose their weapons. But since we're no masters, I thought it might be better if we build relationships with the shop owners and order from them. Yeah, well, they say the relationship only lasts as long as the money does. Yeah, I agree. So what I'm saying is, it's important to build the relationship with the shopkeeper rather than just haggling to get the price down. I can't even tell if you guys are arguing or not.
Water, pierce my enemies. Sharp ice, crack and scatter! <sighs> if I can just exert control over the diffusion here... <sighs> Couldn't quite suppress it enough. But I'm starting to get the feel for it, at least. Hang in there, buddy. Boy, I gotta say, that improv act during the inspection sure was a hoot. Yeah, Lila in particular was getting way into it. To tell you the truth, I've always loved performances like that. I've been wanting to try one out my whole life. I gotta say, that was pretty sweet, coming up with those ridiculous lines on the fly. We Seraphim have way more experience than you folks. Now that you mention it, that's right. A Seraph's age basically has nothing to do with their appearance. How old are you actually, Lila? I'd like to know that too. I feel like she must be older than me. That's classified. I guess your ad libbing prowess only applies in certain situations. I just wanted to thank you properly. Thank you very much for saving Saray in the battle. Oh, think nothing of it. It was a spur of the moment kind of thing. Maybe. But your courageous acts and spirit were very moving. They were? Hey. Ah, come on, show yourself! Now, what do you want? I was just going to tell you not to overdo it with all the flattery. Also, sorry for surprising you. Just don't do it again! I apologize too soon. That was even fiercer than when we saw her in battle. Hey, Edna? What? Aren't those boots a little big on you? Got a problem with it? Nope. Just wondering if it's hard to walk in those. They used to be my brothers. He adjusted it so that it'll match my shoe size. Don't worry. Then how about those gloves? We have matching ones. What about them? They look great with your dress. Though the overall look is a little strange. <sighs> my brother told me the same thing. Huh? Never mind. Just saying that you wouldn't be able to pull this look off. <laughs> Guess that's true. Weirdo. Smells good. It must be beef bourguignon. Oh, hey, Dezel. What are you? Shh. Huh? What is it? Is something wrong? Dezel's been holding up his pendulum and standing in front of the pot for quite a while now. Why is he in the kitchen anyway? Maybe showering the food with love? He's doing it all wrong. Besides, does it even look like he's showering love? Could it be some kind of curse? <gasps> Damn it. I can't reproduce that taste on my own. Huh? Huh? It looks like he's been looking into recipes on how to make beef bourguignon. He's definitely got his own way of doing things. Now that you mention it, whenever he eats, he does seem to take his time and savor the flavor. What is it he's trying to do?
Don't those potatoes look scrumptious? Oh yeah, radish bells. They're on the smallish side, but they're super sweet and delicious. They look like they'd go great with butter. That, or you can just bake them and sprinkle with salt. Oh my gosh, that sounds delicious. You know those have got poison in them, right? Poison? Oh, yeah, something like that. Eat enough, and it'll be your last meal. Well, sheesh, you just gotta cook it thoroughly, right? Nope, that actually strengthens the poison. You're even deader now. How about if you cut the eyes off? Does that fix it? Whoops, still dead. Radish bells contain poison in both the eyes and the skin. Now you remove all the skin and slice out the eyes. It's perfectly safe. Hey, Lila, where do you think you're going? I'm afraid this conversation is a bit... <sighs> I think she has some concerns about your food safety standards. Get out of town! What do you mean they're selling elixir? It's true. Word around town is that the nobles in Highland and Rollins can't get enough of the stuff. But how are they getting access to it? I thought the church controlled the entire supply. Well, they say they've got the church's blessing. <laughs> no pun intended. And apparently the damn stuff actually works. Longer life, fresher breath, everything. Well, don't that beat all. What beats all is the price of that junk. You gotta be one rich chump, let me tell you. <sighs> yeah, I should have guessed as much. The church is selling elixir now? Something sounds off about that. Is this Belfry all machine run? Yep, it's what Leston Bell is famous for. The gears get moving, the bells get swinging, and it sounds like the most entrancing music. Now that's something I'd like to hear. Wow, you'll only get something like this in the City of Artisans. Such craftsmanship. Oh, an art appreciator now, are you? I wonder how the motor works. Don't ask me. I hear the sound of the draw works. They're probably utilizing the power of the aqueduct running underground. Aqueduct? Really? Nothing I can see suggests that. That's because it's a hidden refuge area. This place was built as a fort in the first place. Oh, so that's why this place is surrounded by castle walls. Before it was a fancy belfry, this was a communication tower for sending smoke signals. So much history everywhere. This is too cool. Guys seriously geek out over the weirdest things. <laughs> well, let them have their fun. Yeah, I suppose.
but goodness, we usually reserve such sensitive matters for later hours. My apologies, Your Grace. I merely wish to offer my gratitude for the services. It is appreciated. But you must understand, Cardinal Fortin and the other High Clergy have very strict requirements for us. I am aware, Your Grace. Be assured that my organization will be most generous in our contributions. It looks like that is the town sanctuary. Shall we? Check out the sanctuary? She told me I had to remember those in like three seconds. And now I can't get them out of my head. <laughs> it was an emergency. I couldn't help it. Lila can be pretty forceful sometimes. I wish she were a ghost. She'd be less scary. Huh? It's very disturbing. Even in Rollins. Got a request. Church of Rollins. Roger. This must be the sanctuary. Not a very old building, but still, remarkable architecture. Hello? Is there anybody home? If they are, they better have a voice and a body. No one's here. I mean, no guardian, Seraph. No surprise, given that priest we saw earlier. They're all like that. Everywhere you go these days. Well, what should we do? Look for a Seraph who can bless it? Huh. I wouldn't know where to start. You know, it isn't necessary to get completely hung up on restoring the blessing. You sure? It should be fine. There isn't all that much malevolence around here. And besides, it's not like you can go and save the world all by yourself. Absolutely. The most important thing right now is that you broaden your perceptions and hone your powers. So that we can stand up to the Lord of Calamity, right? You'll have a hell of a time with that if you can't even tell when you're being followed. Who are you talking to? The stained glass?
Didn't you have urgent business at the restaurant on the main street? What was the name again? Y yes right Boris's canteen. There's no restaurant by that name. He's alone. Let's take him down and get out of here. <laughs> Can he see us? Nope. He's just that good. Uh, have fun with your human friend, Saray. Huh? Seriously? This is a human problem after all. Come. I shall apologize for deceiving you. And then... You're going to tell me who you really are! Shadow Shot! Go! The Dino Blast! Freeze and fracture! I got you! Ready to kill! Full and surge! Yeah! What was that? An art handed down with pride in my country. Ready? How many are close? Not yet. Shadow shot! Slow and surge! Be gone! I will spray you! So <laughs> You held back. You'll regret it later. I'll be fine. I appreciate you looking out for me. Even your comeback is weak. Are you speaking with Seraphim? So during the inspection, you really were. I must apologize for lying to you, Sergei. It is I who owe you an apology, gentle shepherd. Huh? Only in the clashing of blades may one gauge a man's strength. Might I ask your name? Saray. Shepherd Saray, I beseech you to lend me your power. For the sake of Rolands. But we've heard that the Rolands Empire is on edge because of the Shepherd. It's true. The Knights treat him as a dangerous wild card with a level of power comparable to Cardinal Fort. And the Church views the Shepherd as a threat to the Cardinal, and therefore a heretic. The Cardinal is the number two figure in the Church, first in line to succeed the Pope. On paper, she's an aide to the young Emperor, but in reality, she holds the reins. Verily, and she is said to be capable of causing the same miracles that the Shepherd can. The same as the Shepherd? What is the meaning of this? Since when have the knights been so brazen as to let themselves into the sanctuary unannounced? Don't tell me you have come here intending to stain the ears of our faithful with foul lies about Cardinal Fortin. Father, I would never... Spare me your noxious dissembling. Get out of here at once. Come to the park. We'll finish our discussion there. about earlier. I didn't want you to have to see that. Things weren't quite as bad between the knights and the church when the Pope was still around. The Pope? Pope Macedro was a kind-hearted philanthropist whom the former emperor greatly trusted. Even the knights would have gladly carried out any order he might give. Wait, what do you mean was? He went missing. About a year ago. As if prepared for the confusion, Cardinal Fortin took the stage, and soon she had seized all political power. So, you think the Cardinal had something to do with the Pope's disappearance? Is there proof? None. I had the combined powers of the entire Night Squad on the case, but no clues turned up. But any knight who snooped around the Cardinal went missing. Eighteen of them in all. Saddle. 
I don't want to admit it. But in order to stand against the Cardinal, we need power that exceeds natural capabilities. Shepard Saray, I know it is wrong of me to ask, but can you help seek out the true nature of the Cardinal? The Cardinal resides at the church in Pendrago, right? I thought commoners weren't allowed inside. It's true. I'll try to pull some strings on my end to get you permission to enter. All right. We'll meet with the Cardinal. Oh, Frab, just day! I shall make the preparations immediately. Milady, please forgive me for dragging your husband into all of this. Huh? Let us reconvene at Pendrago. Once you've arrived, come to the Knight's Tower. He seriously thinks you two are married? What, what a, a weirdo. weirdo. But he's so pure. A pure idiot. I can tell this is gonna be trouble. But at least it's getting us inside the Shrine Church. Right. While we're at it, we can probably tell the higher-ups in Rollins our side of the story. Though something tells me those higher-ups are going to be the real problem. the Guardian Seraph became a Hellion. But why would it just up and leave like that? Looks like the Church and the Knights of Rollins really are at odds. And here I thought they were both supposed to protect the people. Herd mentality always prevails when people sort themselves into groups, no matter the situation. It can be helpful in lending authority to institutions that wouldn't otherwise command it, but more often than not, it generates malevolence, leading to great conflict. Like wars, you mean? Yes, in the most extreme cases. Even the conflict between the Knights and the Church could be considered a war, if on a much smaller scale. War is the people's history. I read that in a book once, and I think I get it now. Would it be better for me not to get involved? What do you think? I want to know. Even if the reality is bleak, it is still part of the world we live in. Then let us go forth. This is your adventure. No, it's our adventure. Mine and those who believe in me. I don't think any dogs have barked at me for a while now. There's the reason why. Is that Dezel? Looks like the dogs are flocking to him. What? You want something? No, I'm just a little surprised. You're okay with dogs? Of course I am. Dogs are silent partners. You haven't given them enough of a chance to know better. But dogs do bark. They only bark because they can sense your anxiety and aren't sure where it's coming from. In other words, it's because you're afraid of them in the first place. Well, I'd argue that they bark at me first. Ugh, it's so hot again. It truly is. I think I'm gonna get sunburned. Edna, do you use your umbrella for protection from the sun? As you can see. Do Seraphim get sunburned too? I guess it makes sense since Edna has really fair skin. Edna's umbrella can be used to avoid the sunlight as well as rain. It can even be used to push back the Hellions. Oh wow! So it's like killing three birds with one stone! Not quite. It's also her signature item, so it's more like killing four birds with one stone. If that's true, then really it's like killing five birds with one stone since she has a cute mascot character attached to it. And, and, it's also something she can change depending on her mood, so that's actually sick. I'm like Cinderella with an umbrella. I must say, that was a good one. Not to mention a lot of dead birds with one stone. Rose has gotten used to us being around yet? Yeah, I feel like she mostly has. She may be a big old scaredy cat, but she's pretty adaptable. I'm not so sure. That fear of hers may run deeper than it looks. Remember, it was powerful enough to suppress even her prodigious resonance. With the help of someone we know. 
I don't have to apologize for anything. But even so, Rose tagged along of her own volition. I'm sure she'll be just fine. I want to believe she will. Human compatriots like Rose are one in a million. In more ways than one. Yeah, in more ways than one. <laughs> What's so funny? I was just thinking, maybe we're the ones getting used to Rose and not the other way around. Very likely. <laughs> ah, you're talking to Lila and the others while they're invisible again, aren't you? Creepalicious! <laughs> Guess she's still got a ways to go. It just takes time and patience. This town's just bursting with sinister rumors, isn't it? Yeah. No wonder they call it the Age of Chaos. And a lot of them sure sound like the work of Hellions. If you're interested, why don't we investigate? But we have some place to be already. Taking a little side trek isn't gonna kill us. It's not like we promised a specific time frame or anything. I'm with Rose. Me too. It's a good opportunity. Why squander it? <laughs> Fair point. All right, let's do it. No regrets. Except the regret of getting involved. There's something I want to tell you, since you've acquired the power to armatize. Yeah? Hidden arts are stronger than martial arts. Seraphic arts are stronger than hidden arts. And martial arts are stronger than seraphic arts. That's the basics. But we can only use martial arts and seraphic arts, which means that seraphim aren't able to accommodate all types of enemies. You guys can use martial arts and hidden arts on your own. And during armatization, you can use hidden arts and seraphic arts. Human, seraphim, and armatization. So we can compensate for each of the three different types depending on how we use them. Yeah. For example, for enemies that don't use any seraphic arts, it would be more advantageous if you armatize. Of course, you may encounter enemies which can be taken down more easily when you are not armatized as well. It just means that the armatization isn't all powerful. Right. There's the advantage of being able to concentrate two powers into one. But there's also a disadvantage to that as well. Assess your situation at all times. But the worst situation you can get yourself in is getting in a pinch from overthinking things. You gotta find your own balance out there. I'll take things one step at a time. Thanks, Dezel. Looking into it. Mallory, the Patinal Forest seems like it'd be an ideal place, though. Perfect timing! We wanted to ask you about something, boss. I figured you'd need me to come along. It's not about the hideout, it's about our job as the Sparrow Feathers. We can't decide on which product to purchase. Mabo buns or curry buns? Which do you like? Mabo curry buns! Isn't that just your personal preference? Nope, it's a rational decision I'm making as the boss of the Sparrow Feathers. This is just what the world needs, the sheer deliciousness that only this combination can bring! Sounds kind of subjective to me. <laughs> Fine, we'll go with that. You guys do all kinds of stuff. That about sums up what we do. And we don't do jobs just for money. I see. That's why we make our actual living as merchants. <laughs> well, mostly a guild does. I'm the one who gives the okay on bringing out new products. All right, we'll be going back now. Boss, try and drop by the Forest of Mallory if you can. Everyone's already gone there. Will do. Take care, y'all.
Lastenbell didn't have a lord of the land either. We did see a couple of Seraphim, but it didn't look like they were living together. I can't see them, but they've been here the whole time. To think that it's always been like that is just... so friggin' scary! <sighs> but in the past, Seraphim were revered. And in return, Seraphim gave the people their blessing. That's how it was in the era of coexistence? Yep. But the humans came to only believe in things that they could see. That can't be helped. There's barely anyone who could see Seraphim like Saray and Rose. It's scary that there are people around you that you can't see, but at the same time, it's sad. It's sad that they can't be noticed even though they're there. I wish everyone thought the same way you did, Rose. <sighs> Do you want something? Hey, you. My name is Rose. I know. Then call me by my name. Hey, Rose. That's better. What do you want? Quit doing stuff like that. Stuff like what? Riding on the shepherd's back like that. Huh? Did you see that? By chance. Gah, that's why Seraphim freak me out sometimes. It's careless to entrust your body to someone like that. But that was part of the plan! To catch them off guard and then mow them down! That's not something an adolescent girl should do. Mowing people down? Riding around on someone's back. There's something wrong with a girl being carried on someone's back? It's careless of you! I told you it was part of the plan! I give up. I don't get it. 